What is up guys? Today is a big day. Um, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning here, Lubbock, Texas. Or no, 7 o'clock actually. Um, just checked out the hotel. It's about a 20 minute drive. The autocross here in Lubbock is at an old Air Force Base, Reese Air Force Base. So uh, it's the first time I've been to that venue and it's huge. Like I'll show you guys the track map or what they they want to follow for the track map. But even just walking the track is probably going to take like 20-30 minutes. It's huge. It's big. It's more like a makeshift road course than anything, really. Um, 15 laps here, 10 practice, 5 timed. I don't know if I'll use all 10 um, practice laps. Last thing I was out fooling around, and I think my blow-off valve is kind of getting stuck open. I'm not sure. So we'll see. Um, then after this, after this event, it's a 100-mile drive to Amarillo. Then we have a nighttime event that starts at like 8.30 at night in Amarillo for nighttime autocross at the mall. So we got two events today. Um, we're testing out a ton of things. Control arms, subframe, uh, lowered the car a little bit in the back uh, and got it aligned. What else? Um, 034 upper and lower dog bone inserts. I got rid of the APR one because the subframes had different versions. Um, what else? It'll be the first track event with the added caster from the control arms, a little more camber, a little less camber in the rear, and I added um, some toe out and toe in to help get the car to rotate. So there's been a bunch of changes suspension wise, nothing new on power, but this will be the first time I'm actually auto crossing on E85. I got like an, like an E60-ish mix in the car right now and she's pulling hard. It feels good. So uh, that's the rundown. I don't know how much, I'm not even gonna be able to like like get somebody to record me doing a lap because it's huge it's massive so I think I'm gonna get the GoPro suction out and stick the GoPro on the front of the car for a lap and a new one from in here and then maybe get someone to ride with me get an in-car like with this camera and then I'll try and get rides with other people in their cars um, my boy my boy my buddy Dan uh, he's was or is the GM of the dealership here Volkswagen this is actually I bought my car from him um, he was one of the first to have a Stage V Plus Golf R with the APR kit when it first dropped. And he now has an R8, a V10 R8. So hopefully I can get a, a lap in with him today. I'm not, and then there's a bunch of other people out here as well that I haven't seen in a while. So it'll be cool. So it's going to be a really cool, very long day. I'm excited as heck. I didn't really sleep much because I was, you know, I work night shift. So trying to sleep at night before an event is like terrible. But. It's going to be a long day. I'm going to wind up being like up 24 hours by the time I get home tonight. So, wish me luck. It's going to be a long day. And I'm excited. This is pretty dope. There's a track set up over there. All the cars. I really like that. And my boy Mike over here in the Miata. There's a, a E36 back air. It's real nice. I'm in line for tech. All types of dope cars. It's a real canned up. There's a handful of Camaros here, or uh, Corvettes, excuse me. There's a nice Mini. It's gonna be a dope day. All right, so hopefully the cloud coverage stays for the day, because I'm not trying to deal with the heat. It's supposed to get to almost 100, but um, I actually got my lucky number. They had numbers printed off for us, so that's pretty dope. And so last year, like I said, they were doing 15 laps. It was 10 practice, five time. This year it's, I guess, or maybe it varies between events, but it's six practice laps, four time laps. Um, and they put me in the white group. This is how the day looks. I'm about to go do our parade lap here in a moment. But uh, so I'll go at white and then I'll work for a while and then my four timed later in the day. There's quite a bit of cars here. There's a real nice GT3, red GT3 RS up there. You see it way up there. I'll get a close up of that. Of course the GTR and there's a, a buttload of uh, Corvettes up there. Some other nice stuff. There's a GT350 around here somewhere too. All types of things. Oh, there's a GT350. Nice. All right, so we're not doing a parade lap and we're not walking the track, but I got to look at it. It is super simple. Like there's only one solemn on the way up and basically it's just like this. All the way up, you do a turnaround and it's just curvies all the way back. 
with uh, a stop box. I mean, it's it's long, but it's not anything crazy. I took a picture on my phone. I'll just post it up here on the screen. There you go. Look at that. That's the course. I'm going to do six practice, four times. Um, they're going to line this up according to number and all that right now. Hopefully, it doesn't rain. I don't think it's supposed to rain at all, but it's super cloudy, which is nice. I mean, it'll be nice and low, air intake temps. Tires won't get too aggressively hot. And the car's to stay, I mean, the engine temps should stay a little bit cooler since I am running 85. 85 burns cooler, so we'll see. Like I said, this is the first time, first Auto X autocross event with 85, so I am stoked. My boy Mike in the Miata, he's in the class before me. I'm the second run class to go, so I'm going to try and get a lap or two with him. I don't know why, at least have like a visual of what's going on, but I'm going to go line up. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, last time I'm talking before we get to some racing, I did a couple laps with Mike and the Miata. That thing pulls some freaking G's in the corner. I, I am very impressed by his Miata, but uh, there's a, a really, really hard bump before the Solemn, and that's like the only real difficult, not even difficult, you just gotta brake hard before that so you're not carrying all this speed in the Solemn, you're gonna hit this bump, and it's like as you're taking a left turn, you're hitting this freaking nice bump, but uh, the, the turnaround up there, that's going to be uh, a little bit of timing. You got to take it like a super late apex because it's not, it's kind of like a, a you, you think it's a just a, just a turn, but like as you're going around because it's to the left, it like goes out a little bit. So if you follow what you think the line is going to be, you're wrong and you're going to have to recorrect. So it's going to be a super late there. And in the end, the stop box isn't very long and it's like kind of a straightaway before that. So we got to, we'll have to play around with how much speed I really want to try and carry through the finish line and slam on the brakes. So um, I do have plenty of pad life for now, but I have this trip to California next week, so I got to keep that in mind. But it's not very hot at all. Um, it is right now, it's nine in the morning and 73 degrees, still very cloudy. So it's going to take probably a good couple laps to get some heat into the tires, but I'm going to do GoPro for laps. A uh, lap or two. I think Mike's gonna come in. I'll try and get him to do a lap with this camera and uh, Maybe one from the outside too. I don't know. I don't really have anybody here. That's Ever touched my camera to help so I'll see what I can do Now it's time to get my head in the game So with this alignment and the caster and everything that I changed, the car feels totally different. This is not the same car that I used to race with. The back end wants to go. Like it, it's like I'm taking the turn, I let off a little bit of the throttle, it's rotating, it's pretty much doing exactly what I wanted. Except for the 180 at the end, like I was talking about earlier, um, it's it's really weird. It's, it's really hard to line up properly, but um, I mean that's, that's my weak point right now. Other than that, it feels good, just need to... Uh, Get a little faster but i got three more laps to go for this session and then four time in the at the end of the day but we'll get some gopro action going i am freaking lit like i my heart's beating crazy like this is this is crazy the car finally feels like the way i want it to i'm so stoked hell yes all right whenever you're ready got your seat belt on there you go
thing is super dope. So Are you this ready? And that. It's really nice stuff. This guy is going ham. Everybody up. Freaking GT4 though. Well, I hope you guys like the clips that I got with the GoPro. I stuck them random places. I tried to get one that was on the hatch to get like exhaust note, and I, I guess it just fell off right away, so that's kind of upsetting. But. but I had Mike get a couple clips from the start line. Uh, my launch is junk. I don't know what to say about that. It just is. Just not a good day for launching. Not that it really matters anyway, but um, car. Uh, driving wise and turn wise all that feels phenomenal the only thing I could really say that I need like on course wise besides brakes is a little more camber like I said I'm gonna go back to that alignment shop after I get back from California and get that camber 
like 2.3, 2.5, somewhere in there. I'm gonna bring my tools, like I said, and he can, he's gonna let me uh, work it out in the shop and put it on the rack, check it, take it off, get everything just right. Um, and I think after that it'll be like tits. But right now my, my weakest point is my brakes. I've been talking about it, you guys know I've been talking about it. We talked about it in the comments in my last video. Um, brakes need to happen. I would have been able to take it a good, I, I shit you not, good second, second and a half off my time because we had a stop box and I was having to hit the brakes way early because my brakes were just fading like a motherfucker. It was not, I mean, it's about 80 degrees here. It's probably, you know, 90 here on the cement and stuff. But after, you know, three, four laps, the brakes are nice, not having it. I actually just got uh, the stop tech dot four fluid. I got two bottles of that sitting at the house. I just need to order some brakes and it's, it's coming soon. But uh, we'll see how the car acts tonight. Uh, the event's almost over. I'm gonna go up here, check times and whatnot. And then I got like an hour and a half drive to Amarillo. Uh, I'm gonna grab some food, go hang out with Michael. I think he said he's uh, swapping trans in his truck right now at the house. So I'm gonna go hang out there, maybe take a nap before tonight's event. It's only 12.30 Texas time and we don't gotta be there till like 7.30 or 8.30 tonight. So I got uh, a good gap of time. Normally this event, like last year when they had it at the different venue and we were doing 15 laps, that shit wasn't over till like five o'clock at night. So this is very, very nice that it's done this early. But I hope I place decently. There's gotta be at least 35 to 40 drivers here today. So I got some compliments, people coming up and talking to me about the car and how good it sounds and this, that, and the third. So there's a lot of, a lot of good drivers out here today. Mostly muscle cars as always, but I'm happy. I'm very happy with the way the car turned out with all the new mods. Just need to upgrade the brakes and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. Start taking out some weight, get some real seats in here, um, some arrow. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you guys in a bit.